Welcome back everybody, this is Keith and this is Cooking with Keith, your pampered chef. So today I'm going to make vanilla ice cream. So I got my little uh, batter bowl going and I'm ready to go. Um, I've already got my cups out too, I haven't poured the stuff in yet so we're going to do it together. You know, whipping cream, milk, sugar, and it's going to be for vanilla. So. Let me get the whipping cream. I'm trying to keep everything as cold as possible, so I'm leaving everything in the refrigerator. I've already had the ice cream um, bowl in the freezer for actually a couple of days, so it's really, really cold. Very important. All right. So, here's my heavy whipping cream. I'm just going to make get two cups worth. So, I might need another one. And I got another one in there, so I'm not worried about it. Let's see how much I get out of this. Boom, 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 boom. Almost there, almost there. I need a little bit more, look. I need a little bit more. So let's just go ahead and get that out. After you mix this up, you're gonna put it back in the fridge for 30 minutes so it could chill even more because you want it to be super cold. Super cold. So let's reach in here, grab the other one out. I prefer using like whole milk also uh, because of the fat content, makes a better ice cream. It's ice cream. I know they got healthy ones out there, but hey man, I like regular ice cream. <laughs> so let's see here, two cups, almost there, almost there. And we're there, two cups of whipping cream. Let's go ahead and get the milk out. One cup of milk, All right? One cup. So let's get this cup here, one cup. Right about there. Let's see, a little bit more. Boom. Right. We're gonna dump that in the bowl. I'm trying to move pretty fast because it you want it to stay cold. So all right. There it is. Got what I need in there. Half a cup of sugar. I may add a little more. I like mine a little sweeter. So let's see. Fourth cup. This would be half a cup. Then I'm gonna do a teaspoon of vanilla. I love their ice cream. I made chocolate not too long ago. In the case we finished it, <laughs> teaspoon of vanilla. Make sure you don't get too much extra. I do like a little bit of a vanilla flavor. <laughs> that makes sense, vanilla flavor. Whatever. So then we just stir this up. We want the sugar to dissolve. All right. Love my little whisk. Look at that, huh? Just making your batter right now. I'll put the lid on and stick it in the fridge. I'm just do it so I don't feel any more of the granules of sugar. Because you don't want that grittiness in when you're trying to make it. Because if you do, it doesn't taste good in the ice cream. It creates like ice and stuff like that. So nobody wants those ice chips in, in their ice cream. Like, Smooth, creamy, texture ice cream. Now, I'm just following the regular recipe from Pampered Chef. I've seen a few other ones that use egg yolks and stuff, like an old-fashioned one. Um, I'm gonna do that too. I just have, I'm just starting off, you know, with the basic stuff first uh, until I get the hang of it. And then I'll move up to other stuff. Because those ones, you gotta heat up the milk, mix the eggs with it, you know, then chill it for a while, and then you have the whipping cream. I think it's like four egg yolks, something like that. So, uh, we're gonna get there. But, hey. Oh, today I'm adding these two. Oh, yeah! <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> You'll look excited about that stuff. Reese's Pieces. So it's Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and it's Reese's Pieces. Chocolate and peanut butter in a vanilla ice cream. I'm down. I am so down with that. Let's go ahead and get this lid on and get this in the fridge. Back in 30 minutes. 
30 minutes. All right, I'm gonna let it chill. All right, be right back. <laughs> 